she'll make you lose your mind in the arms of the girl with the indigo eyes. I dream of a dream on the tip of my tongue of spokes and the wheels and the web she swung. Trees 
Younger than the mountains Blowing like a breeze Country roads Take me home To the place I belong West Virginia Mountain mama Take me home Country roads All my memories Gather round her Modest lady Stranger to blue water Dark and dusty Painted on the sky Misty taste the moonshine Teardrop in my Country road Take me home To the place I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country roads I give a voice In the morning As it calls me The radio reminds me Of my home far away Driving down the road I get a feeling That I should have been home Yesterday Yesterday Country roads Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, Country Road. Y'all singing in La La Land, Country Road. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country Road Say take me home Yeah, Country Road Take me home Yeah So we are uh, We started the show with that tune this week Because It is the anniversary of our release A Message from the People Revisited, which is a re-recording of the Ray Charles release from 1972, a message for the people. So, um, yeah, if you needed the motivation behind the fact that that's just a great song, we wanted to play it. That is it. Apparently, we like to release records in September. It's, well, and specifically this week in September, we like the uh, we're like a cusp band. We can't decide if we're if we're Virgo releases or what's next after the Virgos. I think Jesse's one of them, isn't he? Is there other guys in our band? Are they here tonight? Uh, they just maybe they're taking the night off. I don't know. You guys taking they, the night they off? Let Anybody? Us, they let us have like a nice intimate moment with that song. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, uh, it's Tuesday says, night. Uh, Welcome to the Good Time Supper Club. I don't, I don't. Okay, okay. Mine says unable to start your video because the host has stopped it. Oh yeah, that's because uh, there we go. There you you go. should be back on. There I, am. <laughs> I think. I think we were trying to keep the cameras off in the first song so Ed and I could have that intimate romantic yeah, moment between us during that song. I felt it was romantic, Gordy. I felt it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. A little uh, so, John so, Denver via Ray Charles. So can someone help me out? What is the astrological sign after the Virgos in September? Libra. So we're Libra, that's right. Thank you. And yeah. Libra is next. And then, it's, and then it's Scorpio, and that's where I land. Yeah, all right. No Libra. Fair Terry Wilson's a Libra. Yeah. Shout out to military. Oh, to military. <laughs> <laughs> when are we getting those shirts oh, made man. up? <laughs> so, <Duh>. uh, <laughs> apparently, not only did we release a message from the people revisited this week back in, uh, what was that, 2017? No, 18. 2018 yeah 2018 yeah. Um, we also released our second album second studio album one foot in the ether this week is that true I, I today that's nine someone I, told me that 2009 yeah I think today in 2009 today? that record came out yeah today yeah. is the day Wow well um, that's that's fun. Should should we um, 
Should we play a song from that one? Might as well keep the theme alive. Let's let's just let's keep on going. We're going to celebrate all the the birthday, the record birthdays uh, from this week. So let's uh, let's see how this goes here. Is that uh is that video thing working? There we go. All right. This is one that uh, kind of has fallen out of the live catalog a little bit uh, when we're on tour, but uh, during these personal concerts, this one has been a request that I've had a lot of fun diving back into. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go here. Got mouths to feed and boots to fill, pills for sleep and dreams of dollar bills. And we clean our guns while we turn our cheeks. We're like angels and demons and dogs in heat. So, baby, raise your glass, but don't. Cut your teeth, show your sweet tooth grin to everyone you meet. Tell me what's this world that we're clinging to? It's all for one, but none for two. Pierce your skin with a heart tattoo. Tell me what's this world that we're clinging to? every spring and water for sale while us drunks in the tank trying to throw their bail you know I lost an old friend like a thief in the night these days done took the light out of her eyes we gotta change our ways Every New Year's Day But give me one last midnight Before I gotta pay Tell me what's this world That we're clinging to It's all for one But none for two Pierce your skin With a heart tattoo Tell me what's this world That we're clinging to Digging their roots in our grave And we got debts to pay But all the cards are drawn They'll be paying our dues Long after we're gone Tell me what's this world That we're clinging to It's all for one But none for two Pierce your skin with a heart tattoo Tell me what's this world that we're clinging to What's this world that we're clinging to What's this world that we're clinging to Oh yeah Very nice Thank you. Nice comment from Jody. She said it's one of her favorites. She does a lot of painting to that song. Ooh. Pretty cool. cool. I like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, um, let's do another one from the One Foot in the Ether record, which we recorded in South Austin at Mark Addison's Airy Studios. I remember Mark, like, uh, was he having to exterminate snakes while we were there? I th- I think we ended up exterminating at least one rattlesnake while we were there. Oh, really? Okay. Don't you remember that? His dogs cornered a rattlesnake under the house and 
Yeah, I tried to block. I think I tried to block it out and make it seem like it happened during the session, but I wasn't there. But I, I'm pretty sure I was there. Yeah. Um, and I was staying as far away as possible. That's what was happening there. Yeah, that would have been. I would have been on your level, Ed. That's pretty much how it went down. I don't really have a phobia of snakes. Like you know, snakes don't creep me out. But I also don't. I sort of don't. You know, gravitate towards them, so to speak. Especially ones that are poisonous. Fair. I, I think that's so. actually that's fair. good time supper club confession here snakes are like my biggest phobia really i, am, I can't yeah. see them on tv i can't if if it if i see it it just i it'll it'll give me the creeps and i can't even like sit still it's uh yeah all right um you, you've opened up a good thing then people out in the besides the band we're going to go around the circle here, but people in the chat tell us what your biggest phobia is let it, let it be known to the world, to the chat world at large, what your biggest phobia is. Yeah, tell us your biggest phobia, or if you hate snakes as much as I do, tell us how much you hate snakes. Love it. Um, you know, it's weird. I, I'm kind of with you, Jesse. I, I just like can't do snakes. Don't like, don't want to, don't want to hold them. Don't want to like, even the like friendly ones. I know they're like good. They're good to have around, but. Um, I just don't want to see them, but uh, my wife and my kids, they all kind of like snakes, and it just makes me feel really uh, insecure that, you know, they're, they're out there, like, wanting to, you know, find the snake in the yard, and, like, even, I'm, even, like, running the other direction. Even better, dude. I mean, you got somebody to take care of it for you. <laughs> Karen uh, Farabee's was uh, sticking her hand down the sink garbage disposal <laughs> I, just, I just want to say it's not my biggest phobia but reading that i actually got the chills that is one of, that's a pretty big phobia so yeah Aaron, that's that'd be awful yeah especially for those of us that use our hands to uh to make our way through the world that could be that would be catastrophic that's like some in a tarantino movie or like a mob <laughs> movie like where's the money dirt bag there it is where's the money shithead <laughs> Somebody also did say that uh, the whole this whole snakes uh, motif was a that was a big Indiana Jones thing in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know when he's going down, they're dropping him oh, down. He's like, yeah, snakes, all the I movies. hate snakes. All the bugs in mm-hmm. Raiders of the Lost. Why did it have to be snakes? You too, Rich. No, I was just. I was oh, going, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> no. Snakes. I hate snakes. <sighs> Frank uh, Frank Anselm, his biggest fear is running out of alcohol. Oh yeah. Where do you go, Frank? <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's a, that's just an that's just a uh, an inventory problem. There should never be a shortage yeah. of that. Really, We're running out of options of drinks to order is probably more like it for Frank. Yeah, variety, <laughs> variety. Oh man, uh, Todd Burvey, who asked who sang Snake Farm. I don't know if he's being facetious or not. That would be the great Ray Wiley Hubbard. He sang Snake Farm. Ooh. Just sounds nasty. It just sounds nasty. Also, Paul Thorne recorded a version of snake farm it's pretty funky too did he yeah cool. oh that's what julie says julie replied to todd and said paul thorne yes julie that is correct also i'm glad i'm learning things tonight but originally ray wiley hubbard all right shall we uh shall we do another song off of one foot in the ether Let's do this it. is the song that the title of the album came from and uh, we normally, it's not usually an easy process to name an album, but I remember, if I remember correctly, this one, we might have been struggling with it, but once this became the idea, I think it was pretty quickly voted in and, and we went with it. So uh, this is uh, this is L.A. County Blues. I was never one for compromise I couldn't fit at school Guns about the seventh grade Played them all the fool I couldn't find shoes my size I had to walk ten miles Blisters on the backs of my soul And an illegal smile 
burning down Las Vegas town, had to sleep by noon. Drank my money on red roulette, out to ride out you can't refuse. Five hours down will the sunrise frown, lightning in your shoes. Well, it's one foot in the ether with the LA County blue. They got me on accessory, 30 days in jail. One headlight in a Louisville night without a chance at bail. But I'll be home by Derby Town, so please save me a seat. For me and juleps on the outfield grass, the old South tastes so sweet. Burning down Las Vegas town, had to sleep by noon. Drank my money on a red roulette, out to ride out you can't refuse. Five hours down with the sunrise frown, lightning in your shoes. Well, it's one foot in the ether with the LA County blues. You can call me Mr. Raul Duke I know what you mean Blinded by a quart of rum And a dose of mescaline The mint 400 couldn't slow me down I kinda like the speed Well, the failure of our generation For a couple bags of weed Burning down Las Vegas town, had to sleep by noon. Drank my money on red roulette, that's a ride out you can't refuse. Well, five hours down with a sunrise frown, lightning in your shoes. Well, it's one foot in the ether with the LA County blues. It's just a one foot in the ether. With the LA County Blues It's just the one foot in the ether With the LA County Blues
All right. All right. Ready? How's it going out there in the uh, out there in the ether? To be referential over here. Well, welcome back to the Good Times Supper Club. It's nice to uh, virtually see all of your faces pop up over here. Hi, hi, Patty in East Nashville. I'm in East Nashville too. I imagine we're probably not too far away from each other. Well, tonight I'm gonna make you guys a Moscow Mule. And it's surprising that we haven't done one of these, but we're going to go ahead and do one tonight. So we're going to start with the classic, just a Tito's Handmade Vodka, Austin, Texas staple. Come on, guys, you already know about Tito's. So we'll start there. I'm going to do a little bit closer to a double shot because, honestly, with these, it's the ginger beer is awesome, but it is sugary, so, you know. You gotta even it out. So, for this, we're using Fever Tree, which actually also has a little bit of. It's kind of it's pretty citrusy, but it's it's really good. My fav, my personal favorite is Reed's. Not that there's anything wrong with Fever Tree, but it just is my favorite. So you can pour almost the whole thing here, like five ounces ish, is the the norm. And then I have half a lime in here. And you're going to just dump that whole thing. And the only difference here and the only thing that really a traditional Moscow meal won't call for is I'm going to add some orange bitters because it's a nice little, you know, why not? That's the benefit of having a bar full of random stuff is you can kind of experiment. And orange bitters really do add a little bit of extra sweetness. So from there... I'm going to add in my big cube here. You can, you know, use whatever, but I am I am prone to liking the big whiskey cubes. Um, and then the last thing, and I don't know if, how well you can see it, but I'm, I pulled fresh mint from, from my house, and we're lucky to have fresh mint growing around my house. So I'm just going to pull that in, and I'm going to get it in there and mix it around and let it kind of sit. And, you know, with the Moscow Mule traditionally – Actually, I guess back in the old, back in the day, like in the joy of cooking, it just says to use a highball glass. But traditionally now, we're it's served in a copper mug, and that's kind of the the normal way that you would. I mean, if you were at a bar and ordered a Moscow Mule, it would ninety nine percent of the time come in a in a copper mug. So, well, cheers, y'all. Let us know what you're drinking. If anybody. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dude. Moscow mules are definitely crowd favorite. And Go no, it's good. Clean Sh burn. Yeah, you know. Dangerous. You can drink a lot of them and not realize how drunk you're getting. Well, that's the thing with like the ginger beer is it uh it's pretty overpowering. So even if it was a pretty heavy pour, I don't oh, know yeah. how much vodka you really taste because how strong the ginger beer can be. Yeah. But it is delicious. Cheers, y'all. Let us know what y'all are drinking. Yeah. Delightful. So um, who's excited about uh, the next coming week or two? We have some exciting news coming up, kind of. We're still figuring out. This guy's excited. Are you asking us about our excitement about our stuff? Yeah. How excited no. are you, Ed? Oh. On a scale about... of 1 to 10? So yeah, like we got the record coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we've known that the record's coming out we've, for a long time. We're very excited record. about that. We've done records, man. Yeah, but this we have never gone how many months without playing a gig together, without playing a rock and roll in a room together. Mm -hmm. Many. I, I mean, since the beginning it's of the band, we haven't gone this long. Since I was thirteen years old, I haven't gone this long without playing rock and roll. Yeah, that's probably true for me too, actually. So we are getting together. In Austin, we're driving in, and uh, in a couple of weeks we're gonna be we're gonna be together again playing music, uh, probably probably streaming from the studio. But uh, we're we're working out the details still. But exciting things to come next week, Gordy. Is that next, next week? Yeah, it's next, next week. week. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Capicola, I'm st- I am stoked. I, I never got to, my number. Uh, if we're numerically rating my excitement, I'm at like a 13 out of 10 right now. <laughs> I'm like the climactic scene when Jason goes chasing after the girl and she's running for her life. That's how excited I am, but in a positive way, not in a negative way. Same, dude. Couldn't have said it better myself, Ed. <laughs> I couldn't have said it that way again if I tried. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I will say in the interim, though, this weekend. Oh, hello. We have a visitor. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Oh, hi, Nelly. Hi, Nelly. <laughs> they just keep coming. They just keep emerging. Yeah. Got anyone else hiding behind you there, no, Gordy? That's it. That's right. it, actually, right there. <laughs> um, it's plenty. Well, uh, during the week, I know Gordy's been doing a lot of uh, educating. Uh, we have all been navigating school and things in this weird time but uh on the weekends we've been doing a lot of personal concerts uh and this weekend is no different we have a few left so uh if you haven't signed up for one yet please sign up for one and um well uh this is a song we've got a bunch of requests to do in the uh in the personal concerts um and also it's another album birthday it's sunday morning records birthday this week too (laughs) and uh yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Sunday morning record. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, a lot of people have asked me who this song is, who Caroline Williams is. And uh, she is a, um, she's no one. She's just a character in a song. There actually is a Caroline Williams. I met a Caroline Williams at a show. She came out. I'm, I'm a- Caroline Williams. Caroline Williams. I'm like, okay, cool. You are Caroline Williams. You're right. This song's for you then. Caroline Williams, wherever you are. So here we go. I read the wrong invitation Cause the date in my mind Said next Thursday About a quarter to nine Pick me up in my place We can go on from there I can't wait to see you It's been so long, babe and by all indication, we were just fine. At least that's how I had it made up in my mind. But then the lights were dark with a note on the door. It read, Caroline Williams don't live here anymore. Have a predisposition to be on the go. A sunrise and new skies, they're the faces I know. I should have seen it coming, I should have looked for a sign. Missing all the phone calls, they get lost on the wire. Well, there's so many ways. That I've done wrong But I never thought you'd leave After staying so long Well the lights were dark And a note on the door Said Caroline Williams Don't live here anymore Caroline Williams Don't live here anymore Pages keep turning, missing the days you say you go away. Walk on through turnstiles, trying to count the ways that you pay into each other. And a note on the door It read Caroline Williams Don't live here anymore In 
and the lights were dark and a note on the door Caroline Williams don't live here anymore Caroline Williams don't live here anymore Caroline Williams don't live here Spin your record of the week for us now, Vanel Richie. Come on, baby. Uh, yeah. Come on, Rich. Nice, man. Um, I think I'm. Uh, usually, I talk about a record here, but I think this week I'm gonna do something a little different. Gordy. One second here. Um, so why don't you tell people what you're about to do, Rich? Surprise. <laughs> well, last week you may recall watching a very badass video that Jesse Wilson did, a cover of a Ramones song. And after the video, I was uh, publicly challenged in this forum of uh of many eyes by gordy to uh to also do a video so i did a video um, I rose to the occasion i rose to the occasion well dude you called me out i completely missed that sorry you just sounded way. like you wanted to do it so i was just oh, i did i mean it looked awesome and it looked like fun and I wanted to do it, <laughs> so so I did it. Well, for uh, for those of you who'd like to know what it's like when we all get together in Austin and uh, at the studio, a lot of times, like uh, Jesse and Rich will stay up all night um, recording songs. A lot of times, cover songs, sometimes originals, and they they just go into the wee hours. And so you guys, you guys do this all the time. You just, you know, you play all the instruments. This is, this is nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. All it right. Is, it's a lot yeah. Of fun. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are hard drives and hard drives of, of <laughs> songs that you guys have done. <laughs> I know because I've, I've found them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here we go.
Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh. All right. Yeah. We got we got two uh, film editor directors in the band now. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> awesome. Everybody, give the drummer some. That's right. It was a lot of fun. I don't know if I could do it every week, though. <laughs> That's the only thing. So, uh, this, by the way, everybody, this was news to us. I, I remember challenging you last week. I didn't think you'd actually uh, do it because I didn't actually take it seriously myself. But, um, <laughs> that was awesome. Did you edit the video or did Jesse? Yeah, I edited it. You did all of it. Did you yeah. mix it? I tried. I've I've never mixed anything before, and I tried, and I was like texting with Jesse, and he was helping me out, and then he finally just helped me big time. <laughs> He's like, "Give it to me." Yeah, that's no, I mean, yeah. I, yeah, it was awesome. Actually, it just opened up a whole conversation. I just started sending Richard all of the weird audio nerd memes that I follow on Instagram of like the the cheat sheet to how your kick drum can sound better and that kind of stuff so it was good we just got into full nerd mode that's all that's all that happened is we went full nerd engineer it was fun he did all of, i mean it was all I, all i really did is take his stereo track and run it through stuff so that i i didn't do much other than just mess with his final mix Oof, you're, thanks dude. you're saying you mastered it i'm yeah <laughs> yeah he mastered it yeah i i, I uh, armchair mastered it yeah mastering credit <laughs> Just yeah, cool. I don't know. Covers are fun, like especially you know if it's a, if it's something that you know really well and, uh, and you know I don't know. It's just, and it's good practice too, I think. I I would I would agree, and and I think that um, you know during this time when we can't actually collaborate in the studio, like when we're yeah. playing in the studio, we're all playing live. Someone plays an idea, and someone else plays off of it, and it's this organic process to like getting to the musical parts and the hooks and when you're coming up with something from scratch and then, uh, but the covers are, they're fun to do remotely because all those hooks have been discovered already. You're not kind of totally. hampered by the fact that we're not in the same room. And so it's, uh, yeah, he's been fun. We got a, another good cover coming up here in a little while with a special guest, but, uh, Maybe we got one more song here. I, I might play one tune. Please. Since it is Sunday Morning Records birthday. Um, birthday week. Well, apparently every record. You you got free reign over all the records at this point for the birthday week card. But Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I never thought about us doing that. But I guess all our records do come out around the same time. All right, I'm a... Uh... Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh... Here we go. I heard that you were talking about me I heard you had a smile on your face while you cried, cried, cried Everybody's walking around it But I just had to laugh at the truth in your lies, lies, lies Play your part, know your lines If they ask, we'll both say, yeah, we're doing fine 
Clearing out your dirty laundry Hanging all your so-called friends out to dry, dry, dry You say you want your independence But three years gone so hard to find, find, find What goes up comes around It's so hard to get your feet off the ground You came crashing through the window And it gave away so fast All I hear now is the wind blow Riding shotgun through the past came crashing through the window And it gave away so fast All I hear now is the wind blow Riding shotgun through the past Heading back to Carolina Hanging out in Tennessee for a while, while, while We'll always know where to find you Dishing out your repartee in your lines, lines, lines What goes up comes around It's so hard to get your feet off the ground You came crashing through the window And it gave away so fast All I hear now is the wind blow Riding shotgun through the past You came crashing through the window and it gave away so fast All I hear now is the wind blow Riding shotgun through the past You came crashing through the window And it gave away so fast All I hear now is the wind blow Riding shotgun through the past Thanks, y'all. Somebody mentioned the Outlaw Country Cruise. Hearing the band do that on the Outlaw Country Cruise Maiden Voyage. Do y'all remember that cruise? The Maiden Voyage of Outlaw Country. That was a good one. I do. That was good. Yeah. Well, um, let's see here. I think it might be uh, might be time. Oh, yeah. So... Um, this week we have a uh, a good buddy from from here in Austin. Um, we've known for a number of years peripherally, done a little bit of collaborating, a little bit of songwriting. Um, Trev, you you play sometimes live with him. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I think he's ready to go. Everybody, uh, please make welcome our good buddy Jonathan Terrell. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. the crowd goes wild. Stadium yeah. entrance. I, I heard the crowd goes wild. Just, <laughs> you know, just how you doing, man? I'm doing great. You know, just hanging in the living room. You know, uh, beautiful Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, I was thinking about making a uh, Tito's uh, mule. Hey, hey. You know, so Hi. That, that journey, that journey through. Uh, 
bartending school. Um, cause I'll be bartending soon, you know, <laughs> we all will. Yeah. Right. But thanks for having me on guys. You yeah, guys man. Are... Yeah. yeah. Tell us are about you... the shirt. That's a money shirt. I wanted, uh, I, I didn't want to like do anything to like kind of, you know, <laughs> upstate. <laughs> I didn't want to upstage anybody, so I just like you're gonna tone it down. No, man, you look good. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, this is a this is a classic. Uh, you know, uh, fake silk. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's a Gersace. That's what you're like. <laughs> Fifty one. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a Gersace, and oh, uh, yeah. good deal on it. You know. <laughs> man you better be careful uh lifting those weights i don't know if did you replenish all the electrolytes you lost last night uh I'm dancing of, i'm insanely out of breath after that just like i mean i need a minute i'm gonna pause my video for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you you put a record out right is uh, a lot of flash dance you know i like to break sweat in the garage weird out the neighbors you know <laughs> keeps it keeps it fresh yeah yeah man that's what that's what they always say jt keeps it fresh uh -huh. yeah that's um that was on the cover when i was on the cover of uh tiger beat magazine that was the title of the <laughs> and, uh, and wow. keeps it fresh nice jt keeps it fresh i was the oldest person ever to be on tiger beat <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Um, yeah, so well, uh, tell us, tell us about for those of you in the in the band of heathens world who who are not familiar with your journey. Um, we all know and love you uh, as Jonathan Terrell. I know you you were in a band, maybe currently are still in a band. Not in yeah. the face. Yeah, um, yeah, tell last, us about it. That was, that was a great record. Um, yeah, not in the face is my boys. It's a rock and roll project I've had for a number of years. And, um, it all started whenever I moved to Austin in 2000, I moved to Austin in 2006. Um, and I came down here to be the next Chris Christopherson. And then that didn't happen because, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, just like, it was kind of like the college scene was going on, like a lot of red dirt was coming up. And I was like, nobody wants to hear these six minute introspective songs, man. And so we just started a rock and roll band uh, as a side project. And it kind of just, you know, kind of got out of control, but it's super fun. Uh, not in the face, look us up. Um, but then I've been, uh, I just put out a new record a couple weeks ago on my, under my name, Jonathan Terrell, um, my given Christian Hallelujah name. Um, but uh, the album's called Westward, and Trevor actually played uh, a lot of keys on there. And um, you're uh, uh, upon... Uh... Ooh. Uh, on Gordy's suggestion, uh, Scott Davis, uh, an ex-heathen, um, also played bass on the record. Where's... <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Wow, there it is. Wow. <laughs> had, to, get... had to think about it because you know Scott, he, Scott quit the band. You know we got to. Yeah. I didn't know if I want to give him the same applause I gave Trevor. True. He, you know what I'm saying. Trevor's got to know if he if he wants out of the band, he's going to get a delayed applause. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's ghost following you, Trevor. If you leave this band. <laughs> we love we love Scott. We love yeah. Scott. No, he was great. I was, uh, I was, I didn't know who was going to play the bass. I was playing with, you know, just pickup guys when we were doing live stuff, and I confided in Gordy. I was like, man, I was like, who played the bass on your last record? It's like the coolest bass tones I ever heard. And he was like, gotta call Scott. So call Scott. And I was like, well, I need a key player. He's like, gotta call Trevor. So it worked out really great. You guys made my record sound fantastic. You know, I'm not just saying that. Rolling Stone said, "Yeah, you've gotten a gotten a lot of love there." So I would, I would certainly vouch. I would certainly vouch for the quality of his last record. For everybody that's watching, 
And if it, it, I highly recommend going and checking it out. It actually, I don't know if it's, if it's easy enough. I don't know if anybody has already queued it up, but maybe we can post it in the comments here so there's a link oh, to yeah. it. Everybody can just uh, click. Coming your way, people. Say, yeah, come on. Pretty magical. Come on. Come on over. Water's fine. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, Jacob Skiba mixed it. Uh, Stuart Sykes produced it. And it's just like killer, killer players. And we, you know, we, I worked on that record for two and a half years, just kind of like getting it exactly where I needed it. But also it was like, I, you know, I'd tour and then take all that money and then put it on the record tour. So it was, I had to break it up in several, several, you know, um, sessions, you know, that were like every other month or every few weeks or something like that. So, but it, you know, worked out. It's, it's the journey, man. It's the journey. Yeah. What's, um, what's it like working on a record for two and a half years? Do you go through like the peaks and valleys, like where you just, you love it and then, and then you hate it and then you hate yourself and then you're like, you dive back in and you're like, oh, it's actually pretty good. Like, do you do that whole thing? I can't imagine like two and a half years of going through that normal record making emotional well, cycle. I couldn't afford I couldn't afford to sit down like I just couldn't financially afford to like go in and like cut a record in a month you know um, and uh, but yeah it, there was you know the one thing it did give me a lot of time to like go back and listen to things and go you know because we recorded the record then we re-recorded almost half the record because I went home and listened to a bunch of it and was just like man you know it's just not it's not it's not where I know it's supposed to be and then, so then we paused on the record for like five months and we hit the road pretty hard and just worked all the songs out. And a big thing, a big thing of that, we were playing a lot of honky tonks and stuff. And uh, I've said this before, but um, you know, watching the dancers, like watching when you have like a, a whole room full of people two stepping and when you can tell that they're like, they're not digging the vibe on it or they're not like catching that groove that you want them to catch. You watch them like walk off the dance floor cause they don't feel good dancing to it. But then like when you finally get that song to where it feels right and you watch the dance floor, you know, fill up and then you watch everybody just kind of churning out there and they're really digging into the pocket of it. That's when, that's when a lot of the songs really started like taking shape again. And then we went back in and recut them after, we had just worked them out on dance floors, watching just watching the crowd to see what was irking them and what you know when it was feeling good, and then you know I'd, I'd have a little notepad on the ground and be like, "All right, there you go, you know that's a that put a little check mark by you know something, just kind of keep that idea in mind, you know." Um, but just months of just watching people dance to it and then seeing how we could do it better, you know. But yeah, I would have to like, I'd go and just, you know, second guess all the songs. And then I, and then I remember, you know, it was done, it's been done for about a year and I was supposed to put it out in, in, uh, last October. And then I was supposed to put it out in January and then February and then COVID, you know? And so I started kind of leaking stuff out this summer. Uh, but I had to go back through it and listen to it a couple times and like re fall in love with the record so I could get ready to talk about it and like go back and you know do the press and stuff where, where it's like where everything was fresh on my mind, you know, just all the you know, just kind of recall all the sessions and just you know, listen to everybody's parts and why they were that way and you know, the conversations that led up to them and stuff like that. So it was, a, it was a lot of work, but it, it, it also felt really good to like go back and like re-fall in love with the record, you know? Do you, uh, do you want to play a song from the record for us, maybe? Yeah. Well, I just happen to have this little dog right here, you know? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the first track. Uh, oh, I got a new haircut today, guys. I get my mullet cooking out, you know? <laughs> I'm tight. It's almost touching. I got my, the Travis is almost touching. Um, yeah, the song is, uh, the first song on the record. Um, it's called Never Makes a Sound. And it's about, it's about, um, you know, shoving your ego off and just kind of like, 
going out and kind of reinventing yourself and like finding out who you really are and what that means, you know? So it goes like this. I wash my hands of this madness. Yeah, I had enough. Trying to be somebody else. Never calling my own bluff. Thought I knew who I was. Who I once was mistaken. Find my ego in the corner. A little lost, a little unshaken. I heard there was a freedom If you want it to be At the edge of the horizon Where the desert meets the sea Where the highway meets a mile Where the city finds a light Shut the world off your shoulders Run naked through the night Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I said goodbye to the old me, hell tomorrow, out of heart from the rain, out of head from the sorrow, oh my through all that rain, I can still see the stars, and I danced in the mud. With the ghosts of my fathers Oh yeah Oh yeah In a maze of constellations the Connections in between I stood in the twilight when the air was warm and clean Looked deep into my past To a tender kiss goodbye And I turned to face the west And I lowered my eyes Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I said goodbye to the old me Yeah, on tomorrow I can make it on my own Never back, see the borrow The silence all around me A rumble in the ground Dry lightning keeps on flashing But it never makes a sound Never makes a sound Never makes a sound. Never makes a sound. Never makes a sound. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I was thinking when I was playing that song, uh, Gordy, you were saying, you know, how it was strange to, you know, uh, work on a record for two and a half years. But you guys are so, you guys, I should have learned Pro Tools so much earlier, you know, and this would uh, not have been a non-issue, you know. <laughs> but you guys uh, like have like four studio guys in your band. So that's why your records always sound slamming. You know, it's a win-win for you guys. But it keeps uh, dudes like me paying those studio bills. And, they, <laughs> <laughs> and the world goes around, you know? Yeah, we, we need each other as much as we need each other. <laughs>
Yeah, you say you say win win, but you don't see the you don't see the four a.m. moment of losing your mind, hitting rock bottom because you can't figure out why that one compressor isn't working the way it's supposed to, and the patch bay isn't happening the right way. So you know, it's like yeah, we'll we'll call it a win win, but you know, it's okay. I mean, I've been at the top of rock bottom for a long rock, time. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, T is for Terrell, man. Yeah, I remember that. Santa ride. A lot of people say Terrell, you know, and that's uh, that's why I start. That's why I got this shirt is because uh, <laughs> I, I wanted uh, I wanted you know to be known as the Feral Terrell, you know. So <laughs> I would say the Feral Terrell. It just doesn't have the same snap to it. Oh. You know? But I was like, well, with a shirt like this, I could really make a st- a statement. So you know, especially if, if you lift weights in the shirt. Yeah. 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 They're foam weights. <laughs> They're prop weights, you know. <laughs> That's Tiger Beat worthy, man. Yeah, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to bulk up too hard for the mag. You know, they want the, you you want a little bit powdered. You want realist. You want realism. They're gonna wow. air it in there anyway. You know. Thousand one, thousand two. Yeah. Thousand three. I don't know if you uh, heard of many I was doing. I was over a thousand. Yeah. Thousand four. Uh, a really easy way if you ever want to like you want to like if you want quick abs and you want to like go check the mail with your shirt off you just draw abs with a, a stick of butter and then you sprinkle a little cinnamon on there and then you kind of shake it off, so you, then you just have like it's like finely dusted shadow of abs and then you're ready then you're ready to go, you know, neighborhood hunk you know neighborhood hunk yeah <laughs> And butter. It's all you need. I, I saw you writing that down, Jesse. That's a, and a mailbox uh, on the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of neighborhood hunk, uh, you got some people all hot and bothered last night. I don't know if they're hot, but yeah. <laughs> they were uh, bothered. <laughs> there, were, there were texts and uh, emails going around late night last night. Everybody, uh, we got a we've got a very special. Something for everybody here. <laughs> the uh, this week's this week's remote transmission was uh, filmed late last night, or at least parts of it, um, last minute. And uh, and young Jesse, you just you come through anyway. Last minute, you put it all together. Thank you, dude. Way to go, man. <laughs> no, we uh, we. Uh, we we stirred up the the neighborhood last night with um, some antics and uh, and your your cinnamon butter abs. Oh yeah, <laughs> mm, that sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds yeah. delicious. Abs. You're like that's, that's that's what I want for brunch. <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon abs. All the cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon abs. That's... I'll take the cinnamon abs for lunch, please. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well. Couple of mimosas. Oh, bottomless. <laughs> well, are y'all ready? Eternity of mimosas. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> well, let's let's play this thing before we get too fur too much further into this conversation. Hey, uh, real quick too, I want to just throw this out to the people in chat world who should be uh, sharing. This is a good time to share the show, but I also wanted to say uh, if. And when you're listening to this song, think about the original video and tell us if you can uh, tell us who who became a famous actress, made a cameo in this video. Uh, Might have been one of her first appearances. Whoa. Trivia. Trivia time. Trivia trivia and share time. Like and share. I love share. I saw her. Share. Um, Also, just a quick reminder. Turn the cameras off. Turn the cameras off. We'll turn the cameras off. Right. Y'all are going to enjoy this. Here you go. Here we go. And mute. In 
Monday, I come home in the morning. I go to bed feeling the same way. Ain't nothing but tired. Man, I'm just tired and bored with myself. Hear them, baby. I could use just a little help. You can't start a fire. You can't start a fire without a spark. This gun's for hire. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. T is for Terrell, everybody. T is, T is for, for fucking Terrell. Yeah. Great job, boys. That video looks killer. Fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It helped, having, it helped having like some footloose, almost level dance footage of the shadow on the wall with you. That was pretty badass. You and Gordy really... Uh, dove down some artistic endeavors last night well we found a shop light and we were like what do we do yeah Yeah. that was that was it was like as soon as i saw as soon as i pulled up i was like oh this is easy i mean come on you guys did all the work dude hey jesse you and you and nikki were no slouches either i saw that Uh, that was a nice addition very i had filmed i had filmed my live bass take but the broom take from last night that i got with nikki was just better you know that one really swept me off my feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom! Oh! <laughs> For all you dads out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the the best part about uh, filming that last night was the, uh, the video that someone texted me from an unknown phone number. Is right? it true? Yeah, I got a text from an unknown phone yeah. number. I'm going to show you the video right now. Can we play that right now? Are we, are we ready for this? Here we go. Turn it 
turn up the volume. <laughs> awesome. Look at Gordy. <laughs> at least so that wall wasn't in the way. That's awesome. You can't so, have fun like that. You just need the boss in your life. <laughs> now all the neighborhood moms in Gordy's neighborhood really are big fans. <laughs> they haven't even, they got a taste of the cinnamon abs. That's what mm -hmm. happened. That's what it is. Smell, the, smell them apple pies bacon. Yeah, <laughs> Wrap and ready for market. You're going to have random women checking in the window every once in a while. Like, well, one time I, I saw kind of a, a softcore porn happening in that room. <laughs> It, that's gonna be on my press sheet. It'll be like Rolling Stone said it was amazing, and uh, Next Door said it was uh, irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, uh, JT, thanks so much for joining us, man. Oh, man. That was fun. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, everybody, check out Jonathan Terrell. Check out the new record. Stay tuned. Lots more coming. You got lots of ideas, lots of songs, lots of uh, cool projects coming down. So. Uh, Support this in. man, buy his record. Yes. Records. Yeah, I got, a, I got a pre order for my vinyl on jonathanterrellmusic.com. There's a bunch of shirts, uh, t shirts, CDs, and stuff. And also, I'm about to uh, do a bunch of uh, tie dye, hand dyed t shirts, a limited number of tie dyed t shirts. Cool. Now, so keep that in mind with the smooth 500. Uh, we got. I think I ordered 500 vinyls. They should be in in a few weeks. So nice. Limited, y'all. Limited. Man. Well, thanks, man. Thank you, John. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All the help on us, you know. Jamie. Uh, and I, uh, can we just give it up for Bruce Springsteen? Come mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good song, Bruce. I definitely watched his music video for that song at least three times last night. I watched it yeah, once, yeah. immediately watched it again, and then like 10 minutes later, I was like, you know what? I got to watch that again. He got it. He got it. Somebody got it right. I didn't I didn't remember the name, but somebody definitely nailed it. It is Courtney Cox. Oh, yeah, dude. Like 20 people got it immediately. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah I saw one. Francis McDermott. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't. Hey, uh, JT, I'm just going to throw it out there. You should really think about some uh, some Jonathan Terrell branded sticks of butter with cinnamon baked into it, maybe. Whoa. You know? Maybe you know, some weed. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're really kickstarting my motorbike here, Gordy. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I could probably get a permit for this, you know. Oh, be in there, and you got a you got a hot take, dude. Yeah, butter me up. Come on. All right, man. Well, thanks, JT. All right. Take, Take care, you guys. Appreciate y'all. Enjoy. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Did you hear that? The crowd was saying Bruce. What's <laughs> is that? What it was? Yeah, they were saying Bruce. Those weren't actual. They sound like booze, but they're actually saying Bruce. I went down. I went down a pretty deep Bruce uh, wormhole this week. The video is amazing because his dancing is ri is ridiculous. <laughs> Not this like swinging the arms thing. It's just like it's yeah. It's as bad as like the modern Nashville uh, country people dancing. Like who obviously have never seen a choreogra uh, choreographer either. It's just like no rhythm, no movement. We all kind of know we can't. I know I can't dance very well, so. I just kind of try to do music moves with instruments. Just that's the salvation. But uh, Bruce, incredible dancing performance <laughs> in the unintentional comedy scale. It's very high. But uh, one other thing I will say is uh, in going down the Bruce wormhole, there's like a, uh, a performance of Bruce and Sting from like 1988. I think it's like one of the uh, one of the wildlife um, 
or like a rainforest benefit that Sting was doing. And they do every breath you take together. It's like seven and a half minutes or something. It's it's awesome. I highly rec- uh, highly recommend checking it out. Strong. Oh man. Very strong. Very strong. Speaking of very strong. Yeah, new song. We we released a new song this week on Friday, right? Didn't it come out on Friday? It did, yeah. Um, Call Me Gilded. Does, has anybody checked it out? Anyone check out Call Me Gilded on the, uh, on the Wherever Music Lives? Um, I think we've put out half the record by now. I was going to say, it is about that, right? Yeah. And uh, this song is one of two songs actually jesse has tons and tons of songs i think there were i don't know 30 or 50 songs on that studio hard drive there's a lot yeah and uh and and a few of them ended up kind of in the pile for us uh making this record to to go up to portland and and make the stranger record and so we ended up um cutting two of them and um jesse why don't you we're gonna send that on over to you for this one sure yeah yeah i do i was actually just talking to nikki about this and and i almost don't even want to say it because it doesn't necessarily paint me in the best light but the first there was a night before we were we had we were it was close to when we were gearing up to get in the studio and i went over to gordy's house i was in austin i went over gordy's house and gordy was making these like delicious mezcal old fashions and it was so good and we were talking and we had like an amazing just kind of hang and then we we're talking about songs and then i was like i i i i remember like saying like man i have a song for this i i think i have a song that i can that i really think might be a good addition to this and he ha- I, he had i had gotten so drunk at his house that I literally couldn't play it for him. So I had to like hand him the song. I had to hand him the guitar and, and give him the recording I had of it because I, I literally, I couldn't, I, the, mez, the mezcal had taken me to a place where I literally couldn't even play it anymore. So he, so it actually, it was a perfect example of why sometimes it's just better to let somebody do, somebody do it properly. And, and Gordy and everybody did it so wonderfully when we went to portland and recorded it for the record but i will play it for for you guys now a little bit closer to it's pretty much the same arrangement but it's but it'll be me stumbling through it rather than gordy soaring through the song so this song is called call me gilded i'm gonna play it for y'all and uh yeah thanks y'all okay Talk is cheap, words a dime a dozen, heart still hangs on every line. The fall of man will be written in a wordless headline, streamed over cloudless sunny sky. If silence is golden, call me gilded. I am quiet in love My heart beats what you speak of For love I can't show But may fail to tell you so If love remain unheard May it be known So man couldn't speak his mind he'd lost in starlight kept his eyes glued to the ground tired and hungry ready to sign under the faded stoplight his dog well fed and smiling proud if silence is golden call me gilded I am quiet in love My heart beats what you speak of For love I can't show But may fail to tell you so 
If love remain unheard, love remain unheard, love remain unheard, may it be known. dude all right nice i remember this (laughs) i'm sure i uh (laughs) i have uh i have uh voice memos of of the recording of you trying to get through the song (laughs) no even though it was rough i I really I, i shouldn't have even told that story because like looking back at it, it was like the moment of like that next morning I woke up and I was just like, oh my God, I was like, it was just like, what a sorry example of showing somebody a new song, you know, like it was like, just holy crap. But I mean, you know, I'm glad that it would, maybe, maybe I needed that to have the confidence to bring it, bring it up in the first place. So yeah, whatever it takes, man. I, I mean, even through the, uh, through the mezcal haze i could i knew it was a great song it's one of my favorites on the record honestly and uh awesome. and uh yeah yeah i was like dude that's got to go in the pile the pile of songs man and, uh, and then i at some point I, I think i offered you a bed at the house and you said you were gonna hop in an uber and or a lift and and head home and you went off into the night in a lift but uh yeah good uh, times I, nice I, song man yeah, thank you, and I appreciate y'all getting let me play it for y'all. It's yeah, I'm I'm stoked, and I'm so proud of how it turned out on the record, and it's just an it's a privilege, and thank y'all, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, um, I think we have a visitor here. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sage. How you doing, Sage? She loved the song. I, she was dancing throughout. That was really great. Am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. Is it Grateful Dead Minute? Yeah. Okay. Dance, Sage. You got it. Lazy learning. That's Lazy Lightning, uh, one of Bob Weir's weirdest compositions, but awesome tune. Lazy Lightning Supplication from this particular show that I'm about to share with you is uh, all-time favorite version, one of the hottest versions ever. The show is from November 2nd, 1977, just north of the border in Toronto, Seneca College. Um, and yeah, it's hot. It's great show uh everybody loves 77 but most people think of spring or may 77 specifically when they when they go to go to uh uh 77 dead but the end of the year things start heating up uh the wheels start coming off uh in more ways than one i think the band's starting to kind of fray but um the music's probably a little less tight but what it loses in uh precision it more than makes up for in ferocity and uh, energy and this show is a great testament to that and I highly recommend you checking it out if you're only gonna listen to one show it should appear in the stream but um, the estimated St. Stephen uh, trucking element in the second set is straight money check it out 11277 from Seneca College in Toronto great lazy sup too so anyway back to you guys thank you thank you Sage for dancing Nice man, love the '77. Woo! Yeah, Sage is loving, loving the dead. Yeah. <laughs> trading places. It's time for trading places. Well, if you've been tuning in for the last 24 weeks or so, you'll know that every week, uh, Gordy and I have been doing this segment called Trading Places, in which I play one of the songs that he normally sings, and he plays one of the songs that I normally sing. Um, I'm glad we have a pretty good sized catalog because um, otherwise we would have run out of songs by now. So I think 
we're going to have to keep getting more creative with this. But what's been really fun right now, since we have a new record coming out next week, uh, we're getting to play these new tunes for you. And tonight I'm going to do one of the new tunes um, that we released the week before last. Um, one that Gordy wrote before the day is done. And uh, he's been playing this a bunch in the personal concerts. Um, which, as I mentioned earlier, if you have not signed up for a personal concert, we got a few left this month. So please, uh, please join us on the weekend for a personal concert. We'll hang, we'll talk, we'll solve world problems, uh, we'll have drinks, we'll play songs you want to hear. It's a good time, man. You know, I can't, uh, I can't tell you how good good a time it is. Enough, and um, we appreciate all your support with that. Also, really support, uh, appreciate everyone's support with the. PayPal and Venmo donations, um, those two things in tandem have really uh, allowed us to keep keep going, you know, to, um, this is what everyone does, we all play music for a living, and this is, um, this has been, uh, you guys have been uh, our life, li- our life raft, so to speak, and our lifeline, and our connection to the world, so we, uh, we do appreciate it, thank you all so much for that, and uh, here we go. Feels good to have each other But when it's time to go We'll give the feeling to another we'll worry be gone You're not for anyone Living for tomorrow Before the day is done When you're looking for hope Someone to hang on to You could reach to a brother in need Instead of staring down at your shoes the Thoughts and prayers Like carrots in the sun Living for tomorrow for the day is done And I need you Here with me Right now Somehow I need you your heart and somebody's done you wrong you can bury the hatchet away it's too heavy to bring along yesterday's gone for everyone that came before it's here with you every time you walk the floor Time goes by like a dream, always on the run, living for tomorrow, before the day is done, and I need you. Right now, the sun. 
here and now It feels good to have each other When it's time to go We'll give the feeling to another Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dang, man. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Beautiful song, man. Thank beautiful you. Beautiful song. Yeah. Beautiful song. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, very cool. Well, uh, now I get to do one, and I am going to stick to the new the new songs. Sage, what's going on over there? I like that. But we have big dolls. The American Girl dolls, they yeah. are the ones that are big. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mom's old Barbie. It's a vintage Oh, Barbie. vintage. Okay, cool. I have a Barbie house, but Mom doesn't let me bring it out here. Oh, yeah. yeah I, that's house. I brought a few Tough. accessories. I have two paints. We have accessories, but back to, this, back to trading places. Sorry, sorry. I got distracted there. We have accessories, like two things. <laughs> This is a uh, this is a great tune Ed brought in, kind of uh, yeah. This is gonna be fun to play live with the full band, but I'm gonna uh, do what I can now here with my disco lights. The purple sky by dawn's first light along the Blue Ridge Range. Clouds fell down on a stone cold town of Asheville in the rain. Too early for the traffic down on the Patton Avenue. There was nothing left to say, nothing left to do. I went from Asheville to Nashville to Austin in the service of a tomb. I can't get there fast enough. I'm always gone too soon I can play the part so well But I never did a make the scene Forgotten pieces falling Like the spaces in between But I raced on over to Nashville them southern girls don't wait Some friends getting down out east of town Said to come and spend the day The stories that they tell And the lies that I believe Sing me one more sad song I'm a leaving Tennessee I went from Asheville to Nashville to Austin In the service of a tune I can't get there fast enough I'm always gone too soon I can play the part so well But I never did a make the scene Forgotten pieces falling In the spaces in between Headed back to Texas across the Travis County line. The lights were out in Austin. You can't see the city limit sign. Well, I made my way in a two step haze to a door that I once knew. I smiled in the lights of the Continental Club. It's good to see you, too. I went from Asheville to Nashville to Austin in the service of a tune. I can't get there fast enough. I'm always gone too soon. But I can play the part so well, but I never did a make the scene. Forgotten pieces falling. Spaces in between, forgotten pieces falling in. 
in the spaces in between. Yeah. Hey. Nice so tune, three, Ed. Three new fun. tunes to check out on the Spotify and the streaming and all that kind of jazz this week until the record comes out next week. Asheville, Nashville, Austin. Before the day is done, call me gilded. And then there's other two others that came out from the record too, right? Three. Uh, uh, three, three others. others. What are what are all, are there six record six songs? Six out songs. From the Today's our last tomorrow. Black Cat and South by Somewhere. Wow. Y'all y'all got like half the record in your hands right now. Wow. Um and that that kind of reminds me to remind y'all follow, like, subscribe on all those listening, whatever you listen to music on, follow the band of heathens. That helps the algorithm, that helps us a lot. So we appreciate it. We're so grateful for y'all. We're so grateful for each other. These Tuesday nights have been uh, so much fun for us uh, connecting, and um, we're just glad you're here with us. This has been great. So uh, what is this, week 24 in the books? 24. Wow, 19 remote transmission recordings and 24 Good Time Supper Clubs. Four. Holy. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for your support out there on the Venmo, PayPal land, and uh, for keeping us afloat, keeping the bills paid, keeping the lights on. Shall we leave everybody with one more? Yes. Yeah. What do we uh, What do we have to say about this one, Rich? Uh, well, today not only is it the anniversary of One Foot in the Ether for us, but September fifteenth, nineteen seventy one, saw the release of the band's Cahoots album, which features an old Dylan tune that we're gonna send everybody home with right now. The streets of Rome are filled with rubble, ancient footprints are everywhere. You could almost think that you're seeing double on the cold, dark night on the Spanish stairs. Gotta hurry on back to my hotel room Where I got me a date with a pretty little girl from Greece The hours we spend inside the Coliseum, dodging lions and wasting time. Oh, those mighty kings of the jungle, I can hardly stand to see them. Well, it sure has been a long, hard climb. Train wheels rolling through the back of my memory. When I ran on a hilltop following a pack of wild geese. Someday everything's gonna sound like a rhapsody. When I paint my masterpiece Sail around the world in a pretty gondola
wrong In a land that ain't Brussels On a plane ride so bumpy that I almost cried The clergyman in uniform and young girls pulling muscles Everyone was there to greet me when I stepped inside Paper man, the heating candy. I had to be held down by the big police. Someday everything's gonna be different when I paint my masterpiece. Someday everything's gonna sound like a rhapsody When I paint a my masterpiece Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hey, everybody. Okay. See, see you next week. I love y'all. Right? Say goodbye. Bye. It, it's about to be my, mom, my mom's birthday. It's on Tuesday. Birthday. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mom's Thanks, birthday. y'all. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. <laughs> see y'all. See y'all. Thanks for coming out. We're the Band of Heathens. What a place. This is our first time here. This is a classy joint, y'all. Thanks for joining us. I'm not running to get nowhere. Kicking back up as much as I can come in here on a wing and a prayer. I'm your last being the night. I'd like to wait for the town to slowly roll on me there. Yeah, baby.